sorry sorry for those of you that are following me on my instagram and my facebook guys you know that i've been apologizing i've been like awesomely busy 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 and i promise that i'm gonna uh start making youtube videos again next year which is like in about some couple of days so right now i thought i was not gonna have enough time because of the christmas and everything and by the way merry christmas to everybody and happy new year to each and everybody uh, new and old guys i missed you so much but then i decided you know what i haven't made a video for you guys uh in a while and i got myself a free time today and i decided why not because like i miss you guys so much let me just make the last one for this year right the last one the last one the last one and then i'm gonna see you next year guys i'm gonna be i'm gonna make sure that i drop something in a month no matter how busy i am anything can stop but at least i have to drop a video for you guys every single 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 month i'm not saying that i'm going to be dropping one i'm saying at least one so if i have to post 10 in a month because that's how serious i want to be this guys i want to show you like i want to do everything about fashion fitness uh excuse me blogs and whatnot so like be ready for next year 2020 here we come <laughs> i miss you guys okay okay at the title of the video how i lost 50,000 korean wine to a taxi driver guys like hey, this is unbelievable but before we get into that as you know guys it's a thursday it's a christmas it's a vibey it's a vibey it's a vibey so like we're gonna have a chat chat i uh, decided to do myself something Ah, this is, this is my concussion. I call it a concussion. In here, guys, I put, it's nothing special. I didn't see it anyway. I just figured to put in one or two things that I know that I have in the house. Um, I hear it's a vodka. Okay. Those who know me knows that yeah, it's vodka. So this is a vodka inside and I put in some blueberries, frozen blueberries, uh, and a Sprite. So I'm just gonna have that with you guys while I do this video. I think I'm gonna have to open this a little bit more. Okay, guys, so I usually have, because I love my cocktails in the house, I usually do my drinking in the house. So, yeah, I have my straw over here. And then because it's like too long, I cut it too. Probably the side is gonna be comfortable for my gloves. Nothing special. And here we go. Uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Mm. This is nice. But then guys, uh, with this little story that I want to tell you, I think um, I want to be like in the vibe, you know, like I want to be, hey, I want to be in the vibe, 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 vibe. So like with the vibe that I want to go, I want to do this video with. So guys, so let me just have like at least two or three of this. And then I'll be back. Five, four, three, two, one. Level up, 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 level up. Level up. Okay. okay, story time. I'm back, guys. After like three, four, I think this is like my fourth glass. Yes. So, like, I'm on the vibe. I'm firing with you, firing with you. And with the spirit, Christmas spirit, guys, like those of you who are in Korea, you know, like it still feels like June where I am. Like, I wish I was in South Africa where I'll be boiling, 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 like Christmas every single day. So, guys, let's go back to the story time. I decided to get myself some popcorn. So, yeah, while I was busy, I decided to get myself some popcorn. Mm. So nice. 
already seasoned and it's just delicious okay guys my story it's not gonna be that long i'm not gonna bore you but if you like just go back go get your own popcorn and some drinks and watch this um story time as down below the heading already said like how i lost 50k korean won to a taxi driver it sounds so unbelievable guys because when i came to korea i was made to believe that korea is like the best 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 country when it comes to safety and i'm not denying that fact you know, I'm not denying the fact. I guess it's just one of those things. There's, there's nothing that is 100%. You understand what I'm saying? So I guess that I got, I had to experience it myself. There are other percentage that is out uh, that is like not 100%. And it was hard for me to believe when this happened because firstly, I... Um, I have lost something or misplaced something at a public place in Korea and I found it. Uh, I was coming back from work and I had a very, 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 very long day. Uh, I think I was having like a very difficult customer or something. And then it happened to be my payday. So to make myself feel better, I went on and bought some sneakers for myself. I've got this white Nike sneakers. I bought, I bought them that day. And when I bought them, I wanted to make myself feel better because of the stress I was getting from the customers. So, and I was like, okay, this is how I get my money. This is how I'm getting paid. So um, if they're the one who are going to give me the stress and at the end of the day, they're the one paying me, let me spend that money and make myself feel better. I know it might sound stupid or useless, but that's how I felt. And I did it at that moment. I went and bought myself some sneakers. So me buying a sneaker was not really on my head, I guess. It was just something randomly I just did because of some stupid idea I had on my head. So I used um, a bus and a train to get to from work to my house. Excuse me. Yeah, it's sinking in, guys. Excuse me. So um, I took a bus. It was fine and good. I got off the bus and I had to take a train. I took the train um, when I got to the train station uh, that I had to wait for the train the train uh, that I was supposed to take was not um, there yet I think it was like some couple of minutes away so I sat on the bench and I was busy on my phone and my Instagram and everything and I put my bag close to me on the seat on train, train station waiting seat I put my my Nike bag there and for some reason, when I finished buying the things, uh, I had two phones. I usually use two phones. One, um, at that time, one was like my personal phone. The other one was the old phone that I was using that I used for my bank details back home. So I cannot change the phone. And while I was running around with it, I have no idea, but I had it with me. So that other phone, I put it inside that bag, uh, the, 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 the shoe bag, right? The Nike shoe bag. And I put it, placed it right next to me, and I was busy on my other phone on my hand. My house key was inside. I think my wallet was inside because after buying, uh, when I put, I used my card to pay for whatever that um, I bought for the shoes. So after paying, I put my card inside my wallet. I put, they gave me the, the, the package. I just put it inside. I didn't put it on my handbag. I put it inside the, the luggage. Hmm. Guys, this thing is, is it's nice. You should try it at home. So... The train came, like I can, like the, when the train station, uh, those that are not in Korea, when the train come, that this, uh, the, how do you call this, like uh, the speaker that tells you that the train is coming, uh, that is going away and when not, it's arriving, it's approaching. So I can hear it, but I didn't stop what I'm doing, I'm still busy on my phone, and I answer when it came, I can hear the train come in and everything, like with my senses, like I can hear it come. But I didn't like stop and look around me or anything like, okay, I'm stopping, I'm waiting for the train. I just continued with what I was doing when the train came. I just walked in because like when I, I stood up, when it arrived, I stood up and I'm still pressing my phone. Guess what? 
I walked inside the train, I looked around, I saw the chair, I sat down, I continued with what I was doing on my phone. So when I arrived at my station, when, it, when I heard it tell me that I'm arriving at my station, this is what your girl did, guys. Started looking around my bag. So when I was looking around, like, it was like somebody just, you just woke up from the sleep, but it was not a sleep, I, was, I just woke up from my phone, what I was doing on my phone. So I like, I look around and see that there's no bag, my bag was not around. And when I look around, I couldn't see my bag. And I started thinking like somebody stole my bag. I started looking around the seat, like the seat didn't even have any way you can put anything. Talk less of that big box of shoes. I couldn't see it. I look around, everybody around me it was all full of Koreans. And in my mind, I know that Koreans don't steal. But what happened to my bag? So I got off the train because I couldn't continue the train. I got off the train and the first thing that came to my mind was to rush off to uh, the office at, the, at, at my station. So I went there. Huh, behold, I'm trying to talk in English. I do not know Korean and they don't know English. And at that time, um, I did not even have data, I think. I didn't even have data, I only had credit. And Cause like in Korea, you, you get Wi-Fi everywhere, wi Wi-Fi at the, at the station, Wi-Fi. But when you get up there, I couldn't get the Wi-Fi connection. And I, it, it took me so long, like, let me connect my, my, my credit to the wi to, to uh, the Google Translator so that we can translate and we can get a communication. And to tell you the honest truth, I didn't even, it didn't even come to my mind because I think uh the guy i don't know if i should call him the security guy or what i don't know what they call them who was working at the office and then he went on his google translator and translated to me like where i mean what happened so i tried to explain to him that i had my bag um my, my shoe bag and he had my phone inside it and everything i tried to call my phone it, it's just just ringing and nobody's answering so he asked me like my steps what did i do i was like okay i bought this thing I, and i got i know that i got to this train station with it and that fact i know because i remember putting it down next to me but i guess my mind was just being he's he hallucinating <laughs> i'm saying like it was just like he was thinking that i entered the train with it so i asked them if there's any camera for the train I was actually see if I got inside the train with it and what happened to it after that. They were like, they cannot. Uh, they tried to ask me the door number, like the door of the train, the number. If I remember, I was like, I don't even, I don't even check that. I didn't even know that the, the, the doors even have numbers. Like, that was like my first time I started, I started noticing that actually the doors, they are not just doors, they have numbers. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. And I noticed it. I entered. And then... They were like, okay, um, so, but then if we, I remember I, and when I got off, is I got off at this point. So where I got on at the previous station where I got, I've got the train, it should be like more or less the same area. You understand what I'm saying? So they were like, they're not trying, they're trying to help me. They're like, they cannot, they called the stations ahead, like the track where they, that train was going. And then they asked somebody at the station where it was arriving to go in and check for my bag. And they went inside, they couldn't find the bag as much as I said the bag was not there. So they went and checked on the bag, they didn't find it, and they're like talking to me. So I was like, I called my friend. I called my friend, I was like, shout out to you. I called my friend and when I called my friend, my friend came and was like, there's nothing we can do. I, was like, I don't know. Like, I can't lose. Like, I don't care about the shoes. I didn't even need the shoes anyway. Like, the shoes, I can replace them. Even the phone, I can replace it. But I have my bank details inside that phone. And I cannot be able to get them unless I go back to South Africa. And, like, that phone is like my bank phone. Like, it's my bank. That's my life. I cannot lose that phone. I need to know what's going on with my... with. With, with my transactions and my money and everything back home and I, I need to know like you can imagine how your bank means to you right so okay guys let me breathe a little
Nice. So by the way, I went back. When I went back, um, they told me to go back and check where I was sitting. But then, like, my phone is ringing, nobody's speaking. I started thinking of, like, my South African, African mentality that somebody took it. Probably they're still trying to switch it off or something. I don't know whether they're not offing it or answering it. Because I think, like, if somebody's not at least, if somebody's not stealing it, should at least answer the phone. Guys, behold, when I go back where I was sitting, my bag was still there. And when I arrived, like, the, 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 the next coming train, excuse me, the next coming train was, like, approaching when I was, like, up the stairs because you had to go, like, I had to go, like, down the escalators. So when it came in, I was, like, before I raised. So when I read the escalators where I can sit down, I saw, like, everybody rushed in. Like, everybody rushed in. When by the time I got, like, halfway through the train, I was, like, moving. I tried to rush out, to run out. And when I got where I thought I could, I should have been sitting, my bag was there. And I was like, okay, the stories that I hear about Korea, it's good. Like, it's safe, no matter what you lose. As long as you go back, you to retrace your steps, you're going to find it. Or you go to the nearest police station, you're going to find it. But then now go back to the story we're talking about that got me confused of that theory. This is me coming back from work again. And I had so many things on my mind. I'm trying to remember what was it I had on my mind. I can't remember. But I had so many things on my mind. I was like really out of it. And at that time, I think it was starting to get cold. So when it's cold in Korea, I prefer using like a backpack. So that I can be able, it doesn't bother me, just put it on my bag and I can put my hands in my pocket, I can do whatever I want. But like, I usually use a backpack. So I was using a backpack and I got from work, I entered the bus as usual. Because from where I used to work, I cannot get a train, I need to get a bus first to go to where the train is. So I got into a bus and then it was like late at night, that day I think I closed by 10. Yes, I close work by 10 p.m. And when I close work, when I close work by 10 p.m. now, I went on and oh, what am I doing? Like I don't know what I'm saying. Rewind. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So yeah, I got inside the, the the bus. I was sitting alone. Like the bus was not full. I was sitting alone. And yeah, so I took off my backpack because like sitting, like I'm wearing a big jacket and everything and sitting with my backpack was being a bit uncomfortable. So I took out my, my, my bag and I put it again on the seat next to me. I think I need to stop putting uh, my luggage right close to me because like I feel like when it's right here, I'm not going to forget it, but I still stand up and leave it there. So my bus, I, I can't remember if I was sleeping or I was thinking, but I was definitely excuse me but i was definitely not on the phone because my phone i know was inside the bag this time around it was just me the only thing i had of me was just my my my, my pass card and yeah that was it so when i got to the to i even got off before the station because the the when you get to there's a pure tech station that those who are in korea that knows like when you're going to pure approaching pure tech station it says pure tech station of uh, uh um What's the mall of that pure tech station? Yeah, that mall. It says that mall before, like, two stations before the actual one, right? So, like, or a station before the actual one. So, I just had the name, and then I just jumped out of the train. Like, I even rushed out. I even nearly fell. I rushed out, and then when I, the moment I got, I... I could feel like something is missing. I realized it was my bag. I left my bag inside. But then the stations were not that far. But I couldn't run enough to reach the bars. Because sometimes 
and the bus was not full that I'm gonna say and it's like late at night it's not full I know it's not gonna stay that long the bus I mean so I look around me I look around me I saw this taxi I still don't speak Korean <laughs> So I entered the, I stopped the taxi, I stopped the taxi, I was trying to tell the taxi driver to like, fast, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm running after that bus, I left my bag inside that bus, but then it took us like, he even got to the station, he was not understanding it, I was trying to explain to him, I was trying to explain to him, I don't know with, with, with I, I don't want to be racist or, or think of anything or bad of that sort on his part because I really don't know what he was thinking maybe I think it was uh, the language barrier or something I, I don't know but what I know is when I finally got to him to understand that I'm looking for that bus right so when I got there he was like crying like the money the money like the only thing I was talking about was the money the money the money I was like just run after that bus so we actually got the bus like the station where I'm supposed to get off it it passed that because I was still trying to explain to the taxi driver what I want and then we got the bus on the next station so guys listen to this tell me if it was this was a, a problem of a language barrier or he did this on purpose. When immediately we got there, I got off the, the, the bus, I mean the taxi, so quickly. So that I just wanted the driver to see me because the bus was not full. And I know the buses, the bus drivers in Korea, they, they, they notice everything. So when I was trying to get off, the taxi driver was like screaming about, about the money. I was like, wait. So I was trying, in my mind, I figured... I can even get off here and take another bus instead of going back to the train station I can take another bus to my house because I can get another bus to my house from there so I was like okay let me pay this man and get my bag and then get the, 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 the next bus and then I can go home so I heard it when I searched myself I had a 50,000 Korean one on my hand like the 50,000 Korean one equivalent to like how much I will put I will I will, I will put the the the, the the amount here probably in dollars and in rents and the rate it was three thousand that was the rate the rate that I, I at uh, that distance it was supposed to be three I was supposed to pay three thousand I didn't have three thousand I had fifty thousand on my on my pocket so I took out the fifty thousand I gave him the fifty thousand and when and at that time, the, the, the bus driver had already noticed me and he was already licking my bag in front of, I could see him through his like front mirror, like he was leaning my bag, like you, your bag. So I was like, like it, the taxi driver is, the taxi is here and the bus is like here, like literally right in front of it. It took me like a second, just like two, three steps. I'm tall guys. For those of you who knows me, I'm pretty tall. And if I'm in a hurry and I'm thinking of a bag that has something very much valuable to me, you can just imagine how fast I ran. Okay. I need a drink. So... In that two seconds from here to then, just like it feels like a blink of an eye, like I just blinked, and behold, the text was gone. With my forty-seven thousand Korean one change, I couldn't believe it. Like, wait, am I dreaming? Am I in Korea? Like, what just happened? What on earth just happened? I got home. I didn't even tell my roomie what happened. <laughs> like, I just couldn't believe it like it felt so unreal like I'm gonna open or search my pocket and find my, my 50,000 or somebody was gonna call me and tell me it was a prank like how
Like how? I just don't understand. But regardless of my experience, guys, with what happened with my fifty thousand, I still want it though. Like really. And this is Christmas. I'm even thinking about it a lot. That's why I'm probably making this video right now. It's like I'm thinking of that fifty thousand. Like if I could get that fifty thousand right now. Mm. It's festive. But then, anyway, guys, this is my last video, last video, last video for this year. I just needed to explain this story to you guys. Like, like right now, I feel comfortable talking about it. I never even, I, I think I told my roommate after like three, four days. And I'm like, I got robbed by a Korean man. Like, and everybody that I talk, like, they laugh at me like, by a Korean man and you allowed like no it's not like he came with a gun or a knife or anything and like give me no or snatch it away from me no like I gave it to him supposed to give me change and he ran off like simple like that excuse me he just ran off with my money and it was like like it was like an old man not old old man but he was like old enough to be my father but he ran off with my money <laughs> like, like what so, guys, this is my bad experience in Korea. But other than that, everything has been good. I've never really misplaced anything else again. I guess the first time I misplaced it, I was like so comfortable. But you know when you know that um, your thing might not be safe. So, I try to be more careful. Like, even when I pay a taxi now, like if I enter a taxi and I have to pay, I'll pay the taxi driver and see to inside the taxi for my change. I don't get off. I don't get out anymore. Cause if I just drive off and I'm gonna run after a running car, like. But well, nothing is hundred percent in the what I count in Korea. My 47,000 Korean won gone and I want it, but I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to The way I was like so frustrated that I don't even think I even remember his face. I can't, I can't, if he come right now in front of me or I enter his sex again, I can't even know this is him. It was like, I was like in, in a hurry, man. I need a taxi, I need like, please. and I was trying so hard to like explain, I'm running after that bus. And I'm saying it in English, I'm trying to use my body language, my hands, my eyes, my nose, everything. Like if only we were standing, I was going to use my long legs, probably was, they were going to help to like, I'm looking for that bus, follow that bus. It has my bag. Anyway, right, cheers. It was my story time, my first story time, tell me what you think, comment down below, inbox me, anything. Comment down below, and I think by next year I'm going to be doing more 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 story times just tell me what is it that you want me to tell you about my first time doing what my what my anything that you want to know about i'm gonna do this more story times next year yeah 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 love you guys Mwah. Mwah.